Vinyl Groovers here. Happy New Year. Always great to start out of a new year. Fresh ideas, fresh concepts, resolutions, all that good stuff. <laughs> I'm actually not really a, uh, a resolution type of guy. Um, but I am happy to participate in the Vinyl Tag 2023. So Rob Walker, of course, came out with a great tag, uh, and I shall participate. <laughs> I have, I do have uh, some vinyl that represents most of the most of the areas that are most of the specifics of the tag. So I thought I would share that with you. Again, as I always say, I appreciate your time. All right, so let's just get down to business. Uh, favorite new release of 2022. I have to put a big spotlight. Black Thought, Danger Mouse, Cheat Codes. Great album, hip hop album. The coming together of two worlds, Danger. Danger Mouse, of course, you may be familiar with the Nas Barkley project. Um, very good producer, uh, beat maker in um, several genres of music, actually. He focuses a lot on hip hop, but he does work with lots of different artists. Uh, of course, as I mentioned, the, the Gnarls Barkley Project. This is called Cheat Codes. Great hip hop album. That's that's the best. That is definitely one of the best of, of the year. This is my favorite release for 2022. So again, Cheat Codes. The next one, uh, band or artist that you saw live. I got to put a big spotlight on Omar. Omar Lifehook. Um, he is a soul artist out of out of London well out of the uh, out of England I believe he's out of London um, Omar Lifehook definitely want to check this guy out fantastic um, th this it's album basically is called the man it's a fantastic project um, I did see him live it was fantastic he came across the pond as they say um, I got into Omar's music many years ago I used to spend quite a bit of time over in London and England, um, the Midlands, Beeham, Birmingham. Um, had friends, a lot of friends over there. So I spent a lot of time in England and um, got introduced to quite a few artists over there. Soul to Soul, uh, Omar. I got into Garage, as they say, Garage music. Um, the Rules, that's another great band over there. But Omar, Omar Lifehook. Definitely want to check him out. Again, just following the list. This is the artist that I saw live last. Okay, so moving along. Um, their first album was their best. Gotta put a big spotlight on NERD, Nerd, Pharrell Williams, Chad Hugo, Shay. Great band, Nerd. They got a lot of good projects. Um, this is this is their first album, it's called In Search Of. It's the best one. I mean, this, this album, Represents hip hop, but it also has that nerd Neptune sound. Um, the synthesizers, the keyboards, the snares, Pharrell and Chad's um, instrumentation. You can hear a lot of it in a lot of the early uh, Neptune projects that they've worked on with artists like Jay Z, uh, N O R E. You hear that Neptune sound. It's, it's perfect here on this album, again, in search of. Definitely wanted to put a spotlight on that one for you. All right. I'm going to pull these a little bit closer to me. Um, so, hat trick. Don't have anything to represent a hat trick. I was close with the OJs, but if, if you're aware, OJs have a lot of music. Um, and I, I've had their music across different formats. Uh, no hat trick, though. But, Rob, that was a good one. Again, I'm doing the uh, vinyl community tag, Rob Walker. Uh, good stuff. So, moving down the line here. Um, Album that starts and ends with the same letter. Pretty cool. <laughs> this is B.B. King. Live in Cook County Jail. Classic B.B. King. He's doing his thing. Cook County Jail. He's playing there. 
uh, for the residents, so to speak. Again, live from Cook County Jail, BB King. Great stuff, great stuff. I uh, wanted to definitely put a spotlight on that. You gotta love BB King, right? Uh, moving along. Um, Let's see, born in the same year as you. I didn't have anything to represent that, but uh, that was Rob, that was a pretty good one. I wanna double check, but I, I didn't have anything. <laughs> um, so the most listened to album in 2022, um, again, that goes back to uh, the one that I mentioned. Um, N.E.R.D., I played the heck out of this. Um, so many good tracks on here. Uh, Bobby James, check Bobby James out. Uh, I mean, the, the this whole album is, is just a bop, as the youngins would say. But lap dance, I know you remember lap dance. Uh, that's what the cat named Lee Harvey and Vita. Um, things are gonna get better. One of my favorite tracks. You got Truth or Dare with an early Pusha T and Khalees. This this album's great. I play I played this out. I, I played it all the time. <laughs> um, so again, that one was an easy one. Um, Australian band or artist. So definitely wanted to put a spotlight. I mentioned this group before. Colored Stone, Colored Stone, Aboriginal rock. So a lot of this, uh, the Australian, and this is from the 70s. Uh, very good, very good album, guys. Ladies and gents, check this out if you can find it. Colored Stone is pure Australian 70s rock. Aboriginal themes, so there's discussions of a lot of the things that the Aboriginal community experienced there today as well as years ago, but political, insightful, but groovy too. It's got some nice, nice, nice jams on it, okay? So again, that's Colored Stone representing uh, Australian artist or band. Surprise purchase of 2022. <laughs> I'm not into the Funko Pop. <laughs> heads as you would say but i was actually in philly hanging out i stopped through a couple of the record stores there and then some comic book shops doing that trendy thing um but i came across this funko pop and if you can guess who that is baby baby notorious big uh biggie smalls got the the the, the crown on the king of hip-hop maybe even to this day <laughs> but he's one of the greats but I'm not into these really, but I thought this was pretty cool. So yeah, so that's my surprise purchase of, of 2022. Um, so yeah, so moving along. Um, let's see, artist or band you're complete on. Again, it's almost the OJs, um, but I don't have everything, but I want it. <laughs> but again, love, love the OJs music. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Rob, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get all those. And when I do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> so, um, again, just wanted to, uh, keep moving down our list here. This is pretty good stuff. Um, let's see. Soundtrack, 80 soundtrack. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I know I have that represented here. Yeah. Beverly Hills Cop, baby. Of course, 80s classic. Classic film. You gotta love Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, you got Glenn Fry on here. You got Patti LaBelle. I got a new attitude. Patti LaBelle was up here. The Pointer Sisters. The Neutron Dance. I know you remember that song. <laughs> the Neutron Dance. So then again, this is a soundtrack, baby. Soundtrack representing the 80s. Beverly Hills Cop. All right. Keeping this moving. Uh, we lost him in 2022. Don't have anything to represent that. We did lose a lot of um, pivotal artists. And again, I want to double check that, but just right off the bat, I didn't I didn't find anybody that um, I had that represented that, but you know, we did lose a lot of people in 2022. Rest in peace to them all. Um, disappointing purchase in 2022. And this is one of my favorite bands, but ah. I, I don't, it wasn't for me. I mean, it's cool. There's a couple of songs on here that I guess are okay. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Chili Peppers. This this album, I, I mean, Love Unlimited. It, I mean, it, it's it's cool. I was just expecting a lot more. John from Shanti was back with the group. I mean, a lot of us who are Chili Pepper fans, that was pretty cool to hear that. Um, eh. 
it, it it's it's cool, but it 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 still was disappointing. Um, I don't know. I I go back and forth with this one. Um, Bastards of Light, eh, it's cool. Um, Aquatic Mouth Dance, the beat on that is 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 pretty okay. Um, I don't know. I my my favorite track on here, and I do play quite a bit, is called What You Thinking. What You Thinking is a nice track. I mean, if if we had more What You Thinking on this album, probably would have been one of my favorites of the year. But that was that was disappointing. This is a disappointing album for me this year. Uh, still love the Chili Peppers. They're, they're touring all over. Um, I wanted to try and catch them when they came here, but schedules didn't match up with their actual dates. But uh, that was a disappointing album for me. Um, Non-Vinyl Purchase, yeah. So I read a lot of books, and I picked up this book, it's called The Essential Dick Gregory. Now, I mean, I'm sure you've heard of Dick Gregory before, a uh, famous comedian. Um, he used to do a lot of lectures at various symposiums on humanity, civil rights. Uh, he was just a very sharp guy. Dick Gregory passed away, I think within the past year or two, but just a very smart, insightful, intellectual, clever uh, comedian, um, human rights advocate, civil rights activist. It's brilliant. Um, so this actually was released after he passed away. So this is just like, a, it's called The Essential Dick Gregory. And it's just a combination of his thoughts on society, civil rights, human rights, comedy, etc. And then there's a bit about his life, just his general life with his family. Really good book. The Essential Dick Gregory. If you're interested in things like that, check it out. It's pretty sweet. Uh, again, The Essential Dick Gregory. So that was my non-vinyl purchase. You found a grill. And I did. I found a grill. A grill for me. Um, the Free Nationals. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but I was looking for this. It was out of it was out of uh, print for quite a while. They did a repressing recently. Um, this is a great group. A lot of funky grooves. Their music is like a mix of rock, hip hop, pop. Um, a lot of people got introduced to the Free Nationals um, because they did a lot of work with Anderson Pac. Actually, he was. They, at one point in time, he wa they were his official band, so to speak. But the Free Nationals are great. Um, if you ever have a chance to check out Tiny Desk uh, with NPR, they do a series called Tiny Desk. Look them up. I believe Anderson Pac, I believe it's Anderson Pac and the Free Nationals. But this is a grill for me. This album, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have it. I'm glad to have it. They have a track called Beauty in Essex. You might have heard of uh, Shibuya with Sid. Sid, that was with uh, Odd Future. Um, and also, Sid is a solo artist now, but she all, also is a part of the band called The Internet. But they're on, she's on here. Um, there's so many artists that's on this album. T.I. is on this album. Um, this is just really good stuff, okay? So I wanted to put a spotlight on this. My favorite track on here is called Eternal Light. But this is a grail for me. I mean, Free Nationals, and it was out of print, couldn't find it anywhere, and the online, it was just ridiculous pricing. Found the, found the uh, repress, and just, I'm glad to have it. So that's a grill for me. Um, Space Theme, Sleever Song. Yeah, I mean, Echo Dome. Echo Dome, if I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Great, great vinyl of sounds, okay? But as you can see, the cover is definitely space themed. Um, looks like they landed somewhere on, I think that looks like Jupiter. I think Jupiter would look like that. <laughs> uh, but definitely space theme, Echo Dome. It, I mean, it's, it's just that. It's, it's an album, it's an album, it's an album of sounds. Definitely, definitely good stuff. So I wanted to, wanted to check that out. Again, Echo Dome. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. As you can hear, that was, uh, my phone talking to me. <laughs> uh, you gotta love technology. Um, it thought I needed it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that definitely has Echo Dome. Check that out. Um, VCLT, didn't get any VCLT this year, um, but 
Send me something. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, I, I did get some things that were not vinyl related, but um, we shall see. Uh, Show an album released in 1973. Didn't find anything. I thought I had um, Dark Side of the Moon and I thought I had um, Al Green's album, but I didn't see it. I'm gonna double check again. Uh, well, those are two that I, I have a lot of their music, but I didn't have any of the albums that came out in 73 for both of those artists. But it happens. <laughs> again, wanted to do this vinyl tag, Rob Walker. Um, just just some outside of the, the, the primary tag, just some honorable mentions. This is another album I played a lot this year. Of course, Blue Train, Cold Train. When can you not play that? I mean, it's fantastic. Um, and of course, I probably mentioned to you as well, the three albums right here by Robert Glasper. It's just fantastic stuff. But hey, I wanted to participate in this tag. Pretty awesome. Uh, I look forward to seeing everyone else and their, their videos, their uh, vinyl tag for uh, 2023. Um, and I always appreciate your time. And everyone, you take care.